Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Jay God. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most underrated and underutilized tricks that a lot of pro players use. And now you're seeing a lot of YouTubers, streamers, those types of people use this. And that is the slide cancel technique to boost your speed. So I'm going to break down the actual mechanic. Then I'm going to show you various footage of without the slide cancel, with the slide cancel, with the double time, and without double time. So we're gonna look at that for one LMG, one rifle, and one SMG, so you can kind of see the comparison of how this works. And the main reason this is important because it's gonna allow you to get from point A to point B as quick as possible, which isn't the biggest deal, but when you're at the edge of the gas and it's pushing you because maybe it's just bad timing, bad rotation, or whatever the case is, this technique could be the difference between you getting caught in the gas or actually making it into the zone. So if you do enjoy the video, let me know by hitting that like button. If you're brand new to the channel, looking to find your way back, definitely consider subscribing with notifications on. Goal for today's video is a thousand likes. So if you help me hit that number as fast as possible, definitely be appreciative of that. So let's go ahead and show off how the mechanic works. So we're gonna first look at the MP5 without that double time perk, and you're gonna see how pretty much it works. And you're gonna see how the combination of this works. So. Normally how a slide cancellation works is you're supposed to stop your slide mid slide. And this was done in BO4 just by aiming down sight. You would slide, aim down sight, and then that would do your slide cancel. In this game, you have to actually hit the exact same button. So for example, if you hit it with R3 because you're on a tactical layout, you're gonna go ahead and slide, hit slide again, and that's gonna stop your momentum going forward. And there's several advantages to this uh, in, in as far as competitive scene. It just helps a lot with overall movement, positioning, uh, being able to snap onto different targets, makes yourself a little bit harder to hit when you do it correctly. But the main thing we're going to focus on here is the mobility aspect. So pretty much what you're going to do is if I just sprint, you can see the gun goes up and after a little bit of time, it comes back down and it will not come up again until I stop sprinting. Um, I have to stop for a little bit and then I can actually do that tactical sprint, which is double tapping L3 or whatever your keybind is on PC with the keyboard and mouse. So that's how that particular mechanic works. Now, if we wanted to get it going a little bit faster, I can slide cancel and get it going again and you get it going immediately. So you kind of see how that works. So I'm gonna slide, cancel it and get up and then go again. Slide, cancel it, get up, go again. And you don't have to jump pop to pop up. So you can do slide, cancel, pop. You don't need to jump. You could just do your slide, which is your crouch while running, slide, cancel, boom, up, and you can ADS, you can do whatever. So that's pretty much how the mechanic will work. And it's not as forgiving if you don't have double time on. It's a little bit unforgiving and you have to get it down. And it's a little bit more forgiving the faster the weapon is supposed to be. So easier with pistols, SMGs, then rifles, LMGs, snipers, that type of stuff. It gets a little bit slower and it's a little bit harder to pull off, but the effects are more dramatic when you do use it uh, with the heavier weapons. So now we switch to double time, as you can see on the screen right below my webcam. Um, and what, what's gonna happen here is now when I run out, you can see that how long it lasts is twice as long and it allows you to get all the way through that. So with this, you're gonna have a long window and you're ideally gonna wanna slide before that tactical sprint is gone and then you're gonna go on a slide, pop back up and do right into that tactical sprint again. And that'll give you the fastest movement possible with the combination of double time and the slide cancel to break the actual tactical sprint. So I come out and I feel like, oh, now I need a slide, cancel and do it again. Slide, cancel, do it again. And you kind of keep that momentum going forward and you move significantly faster. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at some gameplay of back to back to back. And you can kind of see the overall time it takes to go from one point to the other and how fast you're actually moving with those individual weapons. Obviously, this is all hand tested. So if you're a little bit more efficient at the slide canceling, you might get a little bit more speed out of it. If you're a little bit less efficient, you'll probably get a little bit slower speeds. But at the end of the day, this is kind of a baseline kind of give you a heads up on how that particular mechanic works. And if you're trying to outrun the gas, you probably want to switch to your lighter weapon so you can actually get that mobility, which sometimes you'll see people running with LMG and they have a backup as an SMG. So definitely be aware of that. So first up is going to be the PKM and I'm running from one end of the map to the other, which ends up being right around 76 meters. You're going to see the overall time right at the bottom left. And the overall speed is approximately 5.8 meters and that was without slide canceling and the default sprint without that double time perk. You can see right here, I'm doing that slide cancel technique 
and I am getting a little bit more speed out of it at about 6.19 meters. Just by slide canceling, I was able to get a 6% speed boost. Now with the M4, the average speed ends up being just over six meters, which means it's 8% faster than we saw with the default PKM without that slide cancel. With the slide cancel, I was able to get about a 3% boost in my speed to right around six and a half meters per second. So even though I didn't get quite as much speed out of slide canceling, I still did get a faster speed overall. Next up is gonna be the MP7, which you would imagine is the fastest from this bunch at 6.61 meters per second, which is already faster than the M4 with slide canceling and about 13% faster than we saw with the PKM. Now with the slide canceling, you can see now we're in the seven meters per second range, which is significantly faster than what we've seen so far. And I think the main reason for that is because like I mentioned earlier, it's way more forgiving with those weapons that are a little bit more mobile. One thing I will point out with double time is if you just use double time by itself, you will get a little bit more speed out of it, but overall it has diminishing returns because you're really only getting that double tactical sprint that you initially get from that first tactical sprint. So if you're actually looking to try to maximize the speed, you can see there's a significant difference while using the slide cancel technique since it bumps it up to a speed competitive with the MP7 without that slide cancel technique. And we're gonna see the same trend with the M4 and the MP7 right now. You can see without that slide cancel technique, it is going to be slightly faster, but obviously once you start including the slide cancel, you're getting that maximum speed boost. And like I said earlier, there's different ways that you can learn and practice this to actually maximize that speed and get a little bit more comfortable with it because sometimes when you're first doing it, there's a lot of wasted movement that you can have initially that maybe you don't have with practice. And this isn't a sometimes thing. This is literally something you should be doing about 90% of the time you're playing the game. Pretty much anytime you're moving around buildings from point A to point B, you should be trying to do it as fast as possible and maximize your speed boost that you're getting with double time and a slide cancel. So now let's talk about specific settings that can help you out. So one recommendation I will make based off what we just watched is to change your button layout. And I've talked about this for a long time when I've done different settings videos. And normally I have mine on default because I have a paddled controller. I have four different buttons right here. I only use two of them, one to slide, and then one to jump. And that's pretty much how my buttons work. I only use the two on the back and the other two, I could probably use them for reloading or maybe reapplying armor plates or whatever. I could do that type of thing, but I don't really, I'm just not used to it. I only use two buttons on the back of the controller. If you do not have a controller like that, which is a majority of players, you can always go with the tactical layout, which will make it so that your R3 is how you're going to be able to drop shot, slide, and that'll work with your slide cancel. Obviously, that's gonna be wear and tear over time, but you're gonna be able to hit it slide hit it again and then go right into the sprint by double tapping the tactical sprint and that's one route you can go there's others i would experiment with that there's also bumper jumper tactical which will give you a similar type of mechanic and at the end of the day it's really going to be whatever you're comfortable with when you actually start trying it out all right so another setting that you're going to want to look at is in the controller settings you're going to go down to movement and then there is slide behavior you're going to want this on tap because if you have it on hold it makes it really difficult because you have to hold it release hold again and that overall hold mechanic will just slow you down so by having it on tap you can tap tap it again and it's almost like you're just double tapping and that'll automatically slide cancel you and you just kind of work on the overall timing with practice and that ends up being pretty much it hopefully you found the video helpful if you did let me know by hitting that like button hopefully we hit that thousand like goal and if you're brand new looking to find your way back definitely make sure you hit the red subscribe button with notifications on by ringing that bell do appreciate all the support thank you guys for watching as always have a great day